said a Mother's Day prayer for you to thank the Lord above for blessing me of our tender-hearted love. I thanked God for the caring you have shown me through the years, for the closeness we've enjoyed in time of laughter and of tears. And so I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you have done for me. And I bless the Lord for giving me the best mother they could ever be. I love you, Mom. Good afternoon, guys. It's Hasid again. Um, today, I'm going to be sharing another lesson with you. Um, so if you guys remember, last Sunday we talked about Barnabas. Um, he was known as Mr. Helper. And if you guys remember, Barnabas sold his field. And with the money he received from selling his field, he gave it to those that needed it. He gave it to those of Jesus' friends that needed help and needed the money. And we also read from Romans 12, 13, and that told us to share with those of God's people that are in need. Now today, it's going to be a similar story as well. Um, we're going to be reading about when Jesus' friends were kind to people who did not have enough food. Um, so this story is actually found in Acts 6, uh, verse 1 to 7. If you guys would like to follow along or read it afterwards, uh, you can do so. Now, each day, Jesus' friends told more and more people about Jesus. And more and more people learned to love Jesus. And every day, people who loved Jesus were sharing their food and clothing with those who did not have enough food or clothes. And every, every, everyone was happy. Show me a smiley face, guys. Get your pointer fingers and go happy, happy, happy. But, say but, but then there was a problem. Oh. Some people in God's family were from a different country. Now, that wasn't a problem. They were all a part of God's family. But some of the women who were from the different countries weren't getting enough food every day. And other people seemed to be getting more food than them. Hmm. So we have some women from a different country weren't getting the same amount of food as everyone else, and then some people were getting more food than they were even supposed to get originally, okay? The people who were friends of these women could have gotten so, so angry. They could have started a big argument, but they didn't. Instead, they told Jesus' friends about the problem. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Jesus' friends were sorry that these women did not have enough food. They wanted everyone to have enough food. And they wanted their women to know that the others cared about them. Jesus' friends talked to each other, say talk, 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 talk. And then they called everyone together. We have heard about a problem, they said. It is not fair that some people do not get enough food to eat. But we have a plan. We want you to choose seven special helpers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven helpers, Jesus' friend said. These helpers will make sure everyone gets enough food. The people thought that was a good idea, so they chose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men to be special helpers. Jesus' friends prayed for these seven men and asked God to help them do that new job. The special helpers did a good job. They made sure everyone got the food they needed. Now no one thought they'd been forgotten. Everyone had enough food to eat and Jesus' friends were kind and fair. That's how they showed that they loved Jesus. Proverbs 14, 21, it says, Be kind to the poor and you will be happy. Being kind is a way to obey God's word and show how we love God. Uh, now I'm just going to pray and close this off. Dear God, we thank you for this time, Abba. 
I just pray, Lord Father God, that you help us show others of your love, Lord. That like we read in this lesson and the lessons before, Lord God, that sharing is a way to show others of who you are and of your love, Lord Father God. If we ever, ever, ever come across somebody that doesn't have Lord God, I pray that we share, Lord, and that we help them as best as we possibly can with your help and your strength. Amen. I hope you guys have a nice um, afternoon. Bye, guys.